Good morning everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Today is day four and we are starting off with some coffee. Today is all about commuting and how I prep for my commutes and first I have to get coffee to prepare. So we're rolling with my Nomi's today and after we get coffee, we are gonna put a little bit of eggnog in it just for that little Christmas festivities because you know, it is December, it's Christmas and eggnog is life. After we get the coffee ready, we're going to come into the living room and we're going to pack. So if I have a really, really early show, I do pack the night before, but this time I didn't check in until about noon or so. So I just packed my bag in the morning and I was going to be gone at this point for about four or five days. So I just brought enough clothes to get me through the week and enough shoes and everything like that so after that we're gonna go into the bedroom and say hi to mr frosty here i just got him at walmart if you're curious go find him and so now we're gonna make the bed whenever i leave for a trip i do like to have my bed made just to come home to because it's nice to come home to a made bed i'm really bad at not making my bed when i am home but one thing i do make it a habit is try and make my bed every single time i leave just so i can come home to a nice bed and i do have a nice little christmas comforter on for the christmas season super cute now it's time to shower and get all of that stuff done so we're gonna hop into the shower really quick after that we're gonna brush our teeth and get ready for our commute It's time to get all my makeup ready and put together for my trip and all of my toiletries once do so. I put those in last because I do use some of those items while I'm getting ready to go to the airport. So I'm just going to place them in my bag and reorganize my bag to fit everything in there because I am gone for a little bit of time. Now it's time to dry my hair and get ready and I use this leave-in conditioner from Target. It's pretty good. I've been using it for a couple years now and I do have a wet brush. All right, girl, it's time to go to work. Unfortunately, we have to leave now. The worst part of my day when I have to commute is leave home. It's such a process, you guys. I don't have an elevator in my building, so it takes me a while to get downstairs. I have to take three flights of stairs. Thumb this video up for half Christmas, half Halloween, fall items still going on here. When I get home, I have to change that out. But it was Thanksgiving at this point, and so half and half, here we go. So like I was saying, we don't have an elevator in our building, so I do have to take three flights of stairs down because we are on the third story of our house, or of our apartment, I should say. And it takes me a while to bring all my bags downstairs, so it is a process. After that, we go and find the car because I can't remember where I parked from the night before. Before we head to the airport, we are going to stop at Dunkin' for some coffee and a croissant sandwich because I was very hungry that morning and running a little behind, so I didn't have time to make breakfast, but that's okay. Hi, yes, can I do a medium iced eggnog and then bacon, egg, and cheese croissant? And that's everything. My commute to the airport is about roughly 45 minutes, and from airplane door to my apartment door, it takes me about an hour. The magic of Disney store finally opened in the Orlando airport. It's all remodeled and everything just in time for all the Christmas passengers to come. But here is the big old Christmas tree where the fountain usually is. Mm. Yep. It's all happening, folks. Oh, there's a birdie in here. But yeah, so that's the magic of Disney store. Brand new. I have to go this way for my checkpoint, but we're all decorated here at MCO. Looks good, looks good. 
from the sunshine state to the frozen tundra. But here we are, we made it, and now we are going to work. So I did have to work a red eye to Vegas and then layover and then in the morning had all day and then we worked the red eye back and I spent time with a friend that I haven't seen in a really long time and we had a great time so from here on out I'm done talking hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the vlog see you later hi guys we are on our way to Vegas it's really crappy in Vegas I guess it's only like 39 degrees and raining so we'll see what happens I don't know what we're doing where we're going I'll see you guys in Vegas oh hi Vegas and my friend is coming to pick me up so I'm going to head downstairs and we're gonna go grab lunch and I'm bringing you guys with me obviously because <laughs> it's vlogmas and I'm vlogging every day and every moment of my life so we're gonna head on out downstairs and meet Dalton I think he's been in my vlogs before so I think he was in Vlogmas last year actually, but I can't remember. I'd have to think about that if he was in Vlogmas or not, I can't remember. But we're gonna go get lunch and then explore Vegas, even though I've been here like a million gazillion times, but bringing you guys with me, so let's go. Chicken and waffles with eggs, syrup, fruit, and little paw prints, how cute. Hi guys, we are going to the Miracle Mile shops because it's Black Friday and we're gonna do some Black Friday shopping and here's Dalton. Hi. Hi. Um, so breakfast was really good. I had chicken and waffles and Dalton had pot roast. It was dish delish, but really too much food happening for me. But there's like a million and five people at this Miracle Mile of shops because it's Black Friday. Can't wait to do some shopping. Vegas Miracle Mile Shops or Shop Miracle, I don't know, Mile Miracle Shops, something like that. We did some damage, girl. But Key Sunglasses was having a sale, buy one, get one, so they were basically like $30 a piece because normally they're like 60 bucks, so that was good. And then Bath and Body Works, woohoo! When in Vegas, you gotta stop at Garrett's Popcorn, said no one ever. It's a Chicago tradition, silly, but you still have to stop here. And they have hot cocoa caramel crisp mix. I might get that. Hey guys, what's up? I just got back to my room. I had a really nice time with Dalton. I haven't seen him in a super duper duper long time. So it was really nice to catch up. We had breakfast at that Black Bear Diner. What is going on with my hair here? And then we went to the Miracle Mile shops at Planet Hollywood and just kind of walked around and shopped till we dropped, literally. Um, I did get, these are my old ones, but I did get new Key sunglasses or Quay or I don't know. Everyone calls them different things. I think they're called Key. Some people say they're Quay. I don't know, but whatever. I got some new ones. These are my old ones. Um, I had another pair, but the they bent like this because I have a really large head. <laughs> and um, actually I don't, but uh, the I lost the little rubber thing on this side. See how there's no rubber thing in there? It's hard. So I did need new sunglasses anyway, but I wasn't planning on buying new key ones because they are a little expensive. But then we were passing by the, um, here I'll just show you right here because I think this is good lighting. We were just walking around. I didn't even, I was like, oh, there's a key store in here. I know, or a K or Kui or Kylie, I don't know, whatever, Quay store in here. And I just wanted to like look to, for like later on because they are $60 and that's, that's a lot for a pair of sunglasses. But they were having a buy one, get one free sale on the entire store. So realistically, they were only $30 a piece. So I feel like that made me my purchase feel a little bit better. Both of them are the Desi Perkins collab. 
don't know. I think they're kind of cute. They're different. They're like squared and they're like a pinky brown. And then they have like a nice gold trim on the side. I don't know. I just thought these are kind of cute. I mean, whatever. And then I just rebought the ones that I stretched out. The flat aviator ones that I wear. And then you guys always ask me where I get them or where I bought them or what kind of sunglasses they are. I feel like mine were a little bit bigger, but and they're cute. Whatever. You know, hey. And then we did go to Bath and Body Works because it was buy three get three free that's like their sale that they have every i almost said fourth of july <laughs> that's their sale they have every black friday so i did get a few items from there i can show you really quickly some wallflower things this one is white woods winter it's very faint smelling white woods fresh balsam because fresh balsam is my favorite scent for winter Vanilla balsam, bathroom spray, fresh balsam spray. Yum. I saw this, it's brand new. It's Into the Night is a new scent that they have. And I don't really like Bath and Body Works like sprays because I feel like I'm a 16 year old girl again when I carry those around. So I was like, oh, but I really like this scent. Like it smells really good. It smells like Chanel. Like it, like the, uh, the one scent from Chanel, from, oh wait, wait, what is this? Is this a roller? Oh, it's a spray. I thought it was a rollerball because it looks like a rollerball, but it's actually a spray. So that actually works out better. Um, so it's into the night and the packaging is really nice. Here I am being my beauty guru self, but it's really nice and it's actually a spritzer. I thought it was a rollerball, but it's not. I actually have some still on me, but I'll put it on. It's very like, van not vanilla-y. I don't know how to describe it. It, just, it smells really good. Um, apparently, Bath and Body Works, it's not tested on animals. Like, everything is saying not tested on animals. I think they got, like, new formulas or something. I don't know, but I don't know if that's true. Comment down below if you've heard anything about it. But everything that I was seeing, because I, I knew that it wasn't cruelty-free, because that's, like, a big reason why I wasn't buying, like, a lot of their body products. But now, I, it, everything says not tested on animals. So, that's good. And then, here's... A free gift, ten dollar purchase with with anything. Wait, free gift with any ten dollar purchase. So there's two in here. Holla, giveaway! <laughs> Just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, okay. So then I got a candle, but she wrapped it up really nicely, so I don't want to unwrap it. But it is the um, ball. It's mahogany balsam. So that's gonna be my scent when I get my other candle is finished, which is almost done. So yeah, those are my three for three items. Really good deals, I thought. And Black Friday shopping was a success. I also did get some Garrett's popcorn. It's hot cocoa caramel with cheese. So I'll probably eat that a little bit and do a face mask and take a nap because I have to go take a nap now because we're working a red eye back. I don't know what time it is. I don't know where, oh, here it is. It's 3.51, so our van is at 10.30 p.m. tonight. So in like, how many hours is that? I can't even count. Uh, six hours and like a half or whatever. I don't know, whatever. But I'm gonna sleep until about 9.45 and then get up and refresh and head on out to work. So hope you enjoyed that haul for my Black Friday shopping. I was going to possibly buy stuff for others, but always on Black Friday, it's all about you. I feel like that's everyone, and if it's not, you're lying. Actually, no, I did buy one thing for somebody else online, so just kidding, Never mind. I lied. I'm tired, I need to go to bed. So I'll see you guys after my nap. Hi guys, what's up? It is like 10.20 p.m., I believe, 10.18. And I'm getting ready to head on downstairs for our van for this lovely red eye at least it's just one leg then i work sunday for two or three day trip no wait what day do i get back i think it's three days i get back at like 4 a.m and then i mean you'll be here with me but i'm just giving you like a little heads up on our plans then i am off for two days and on the fifth i am traveling it's going to be a long day on the 5th. I'm traveling up to Indianapolis on the 5th. And then I'm 
picking up Eddie because he has a layover there. And we're going down to Lexington, Kentucky, driving. We're going to see Trans Siberia Orchestra. His family and I go every single year. It's like a tradition that they've been doing for years. And then when I came into the mix, I joined. And so now I'm into the mix of it too. And then we're driving back. <laughs> And then spending the night in Indianapolis and then I have a flight at 6.50 to catch for to Minneapolis to Deadhead to Boise, Idaho. It's gonna be crazy, but we're getting there, we're doing it. It's gonna be a crazy couple days, like I said. So that's why I've been pre-vlogging. Hence, maybe I won't be vlogging that. I don't know, we'll see. <sighs> Holiday stress. I'm just gonna check my room really quick. That probably didn't make any sense. I was just like totally just talking to myself and like the plans that I have. So I don't know if that made sense or not, but hey, we're here together in this Vlogmas, right? Mm -hmm. Today was fun. I'm really glad that I got to see Dalton and we got to hang out. But now it's time to go to work and go to Minneapolis. <sighs> All right, let's do this thing. <laughs> We're in Vegas uh, on the plane. I don't know flight time or anything, but it's snowing in Minneapolis. Joy, awesomeness. I don't know how much they're supposed to get, but hopefully not extreme amount, you know, whatever. Um, one leg to Vegas and I'm gonna eat my sandwich and chill. Hopefully everyone sleeps on this leg. 